What's up guys, Eric here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the upcoming season of The Flash, season seven. Now, everybody's really excited for the show. We got an official date for when it's gonna be coming back, which is the end of February. It's gonna be lining up with the release of the Superman and Lois show, which we're gonna be getting that first season, and everybody is really excited. It's right around the corner, and we cannot wait for the series to come back. It feels like it's been forever since it's been on the air. So, any news that comes out for this, um, about the show, about advertising, anything that's connected to The Flash uh, is getting directed my way. And this story that we're gonna talk about, it's a very brief story. It's not like a big, huge article. There is a, uh, I'm gonna link the actual article that was sent to me, which is from Deadline. I really love Deadline, very reputable uh, website. So I'll link this article in the info box below if you wanna go read it yourself, but just have to warn you, there's not a lot there. And I'm gonna talk about it here in this video. So if you read the title, you can already see that The Flash has paused its production, it's delayed its production, again, shut down production temporarily because of a positive test of COVID. And I'm gonna read this article here. It says a team member working on the CW series, The Flash in Vancouver has tested positive for COVID-19, Deadline has learned. The asymptomatic diagnosis was confirmed through the rigorous testing protocols implemented by The Flash and Studio Warner Brothers. TV for all of its production employees uh, has this new this new uh, system where they're doing all of this testing. And I, I don't know the exact details here. We talk about this quite often in the after party. If you've ever been there, you've probably heard this before, but I'm gonna sort of paraphrase what I know of this um, from Canada Graphs, who is always there uh, on set or as often as possible taking photos. Shout out to Canada Graphs, you can follow them over on Twitter. Um, they're doing these things like potting, like they have these pods of people working with certain set people on set. So that way, if you have something like this where somebody does test positive, they can take away that group and continue to film with the other people in the other groups once the testing has been done, once they're able to go back and confirm that no one in those groups are positive and they can move forward with that. So I think that's what's happening here, but let's read the rest of this article and see where this goes. Out of an abundance of caution, production on The Flash has been temporarily suspended and contact tracing has been initiated. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, that means that they have confirmed uh, on set the person that's done it and they're going to connect the dots to figure out uh, who else could have possibly been exposed on set. And that's what I mean by, you know, being able to, to take these pods, break them apart and continue filming with people who have not been exposed. And this is something we're probably gonna see with production moving forward with a lot of things. We're seeing it on other shows. We're seeing it uh, in possible, you know, the movies that are filming now in different places, this idea of working in smaller groups so that production doesn't have to be completely stopped. So even though it's shut down or paused or delayed at the moment, they do anticipate getting started up uh, soon. Now here it goes. Uh, we're gonna go on with this. It says, according to sources, the studio is currently evaluating adjustments to the production schedule in order to resume filming without the affected employee and potential close contacts who are self-isolating. So there you go. Um, that is exactly what they're gonna be doing. And it seems like they have a plan in motion for this to work out for everybody. And then it goes on here, it says, The Flash was among a number of series filming in Vancouver whose starter production was delayed because of a backlog at a local lab processing COVID test. And that's the end of the article. There's a little bit more there. Again, I'm gonna put the link down below. So there's the news. If that's what you're here for, then you got it, you understand it. But I wanna talk briefly about how this may affect the show in February, because I know that's the very next question from you guys. And I don't wanna leave you hanging here in the comments saying, well, what's gonna happen? Is the show gonna get released on time? What are your predictions on this? And I will say their predictions because I don't know for sure how things are gonna work out. If anything, 2020, uh, if, if it's taught us anything, it's taught us that Hollywood and, and any form of entertainment is completely unpredictable at the moment. So again, I'm going based on what we're seeing with other productions and things that we're reading in articles. And that's really my best guess effort. So we know that a while back, some filming, uh, some other filming got shut down because of COVID cases, and they managed to continue operations by isolating the people that were affected, rigorously testing the people that were not while they were continuing to film and get things done. And this has sort of been part of the course for Hollywood at the moment. So if I had to take a guess on this, what I think is gonna happen is, Hopefully this uh, lab is not backlogged and they've got you know more testing available to them and they can get people tested to find out if they're safe because ultimately the safety of everybody on set is the most important thing. 
And so they're going to focus on that and make sure that no one on set uh, that, that didn't have to be exposed is not put in the line of fire and they make everyone else that was or has been isolating and getting them healthy again. So for the filming of the show now, this means that I assume that we're gonna have a couple of days where they're going to do this testing and then we're gonna get back into filming and they're gonna start blocking out uh, who's available to film, what scenes they can get done from episodes because they may, they may actually film things out of order and that's probably what's gonna happen to a lot of the shows right now is they're gonna film scenes out of order and then in the uh, you know post-production, they're gonna edit it all together and put them all in one cohesive episode. And this isn't new, honestly, out of order filming is actually very common on TV shows and movies. So this isn't something that someone in acting is not familiar with, it is. It's just a little bit more difficult now because of what's going on with COVID. So I expect that's that's actually what's gonna happen. They're just gonna film things out of order, then put them all into an episode and release it that way so that they can get the product out to the consumers because I don't think they wanna wait any longer than anyone else. And so I assume production will start rolling uh, you know, within the week. We'll probably see things starting back up within the week. Now, depending, this is where things get a little muddy, depending on who was actually affected, because we don't know who it is. We know it's someone, um, you know, on the team. We don't know if it's a, if it's one of the actors, if it's somebody just in production, if it's like the sound guy, if it's somebody working in the background. We don't really know who that person is, and unless they ever announce that, we're probably not going to know. I'm going to assume if it's not made, if it's not announced, then it's not someone in the main cast. So assuming that if it is someone in the production side, they could probably get production up and running quickly, get everybody tested and still meet their February release date for The Flash. So I don't foresee that affecting the release date in that way. However, if it is someone on the main cast, someone who is like one of the top four or five characters on the show, like say for example, it was Cisco or, you know, uh, it was Caitlin or Joe or, or Iris or someone you know, even Barry himself, if it's one of those characters, then that would definitely affect the, the filming in a big way, primarily if it's Barry. If it's Grant that actually uh, is positive, then it will it will hugely affect the scheduling of the series and how they're going to film. So we're really going to have to wait and see for that. But I am optimistic right now, if you were going to ask me, is it going to meet its film, its uh, release date or whatever, that they are going to try their best to get this out on the date that it's scheduled to come out because they want it to launch with Superman and Lois, and they wanna make sure that these shows are out so they can get the ball rolling because this upcoming year is gonna be so packed with TV shows and movies that any delays that happen is going to affect advertising and money for the networks and things like that. And trust me, what has happened in the back half of this year in terms of like slowing down production and things like that, they don't wanna have that happen again. It's not something the studios are looking forward to. So again, I'm anticipating that they're gonna get the ball rolling and we're gonna see things sort of working their way back on TV, on, sort of on schedule. I assume we will. As far as I know, Batwoman, Black Lightning, those shows are definitely gonna meet their release dates. So I don't see why some of these other shows wouldn't, but we have to wait and see. If, you're, if you guys are interested in any updates on this story after you watch this video, if anything comes out, if I hear anything at all, whether it be through sources or articles or things like that, we will be talking about it on this week's After Party with myself, Paigey, and possibly a special guest. Um, so definitely, definitely stick around this week for the After Party and join us so we can talk about this because this may be a lot bigger than what it sounds like, but we're gonna have to wait and see where it goes. Again, links to the articles are down in the info box below. And that's pretty much it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and become part of the Ericverse. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment down below. That's it, I'm out of here. I'll catch you in the next video. See you then.